Hi, I'm Karen, and I always get the question of, Karen, how do you get the designs you get? Well, today I am going to show you how I do a little of my decorating work. First, I get an idea. Ding! I idea! Next, I was thinking, I've been hearing a lot about honey badgers, and I'm going, what is this thing about honey badgers? So I did a little research on the internet, and I came up with, really like this image, image, and what I do is make my own design then. Next thing I do is I have my prepared mug, for instance, I'm going to make some mugs with this, and I sketch out my design. Okay, so I'm going to sketch out my design here. And just rough it in. And so I've added a, a snaggle tooth. I add my own touches to it. I'm going to put a snarly snaggle tooth because it makes it look a little more evil. And I'm going to put some large talons on it. <clears throat> so once I have this finished, and I am going to... I do it in series, and I'll finish these mugs as okay, well. Okay, so now i finished all of my bowl, or all of my mugs. And I have the pencil design on everything. And now the next step is to get my colorants out. So I've decided to use a Naples yellow for the stripe on this guy, just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush a little bit of the yellow on, little by little here, because I will go back and make it look a little more hair-like when I'm done. Okay, done. And now since they're like desert creatures, I'm gonna just decide to do the background and I'm gonna put some bands of uh, orange, actually a light ambrosia on here. I decided I'm going to make the body of the, the badger black, so I'm just going to put this background, I'll work the background first. And again, I'll do this for all four of the mugs. Next, I am going to add a different uh, layer of color. This is a little lighter called Saturn Orange and I will make another stripe of the Saturn Orange on here on each one And sometimes I do a little overlap, and, and it's fine. And the way I work is I put one layer on, and then I'll have an idea of what I want to do, and then maybe I get a different idea from what it looks like. Now I decided I was going to use a little green on here. I'll put a little green band on the top. And the screen is going to continue down the sides of the piece. And I'm going to put a little hatch mark on it. And I'll do this on all of them. Go 
on the side a little bit. And one more. And now I'm going to add uh, some red dots. I decided that these pieces could use a little extra movement. And uh... Okay, the last last step I do is to put the black on. I always use black last and I take my small brush and I'm going to outline Give him kind of a triangular pupil, make him look a little eviler. some more big claws. Go ahead and fill in. Next, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of water and a, and a rough brush, and I'm going to brush the top part because I don't want it all too bright, and I'm just going to smooth out and sort of make fur on uh, the yellow stripe here. So, and that kind of smooths it out. Oops. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water, smooth out that yellow, blend it in a little bit. Okay, the next thing I'll do is take my needle tool and add a little detail.
Okay, so this is a finished product here. This will be ooh, this will be put in the kiln now. I'll clean the bottoms. And I also added on the inside a little bee. Okay, I'll put it in the kiln. And hopefully we'll have a successful firing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at my process and seeing how I create all my wonderful pottery. Thank you for watching and you'll be seeing my finished product at a later date.